So let me get this right. You're over 30 and you're trying to pursue a music career in the, in the industry, like making money from your music. We need to have a talk. Now, I know that you guys are used to the rainbows and unicorns videos that are aimed to make everybody feel happy, uplifted, and ready to take on the world. But those videos really don't help anyone because inspiration, motivation, all that stuff is nothing without massive action. So here's the deal. I get asked all the time. Adam, what do you think the ideal age is to have the best chance of success in the music industry? Or Adam, I've been making music for years now. I'm in my early 40s now. I was wondering if chasing my music dream is a waste of time at this point. And I'm sure that those are things that we all think about as creatives. The chances are, guys, of getting signed to a major record label in your 30s are slim to none. Is it possible? Yes, you can win the lottery, you can get struck by lightning. In fact, I think more people get struck by lightning every year since that number lands around 300 people per year. And you know damn well that 300 people aren't getting signed to major record deals in their 30s or beyond, so uh, maybe go stand outside. And why is it that getting signed to a major label is such an obsession for you in the first place? So you can make a full-time income, so you can build a fan base, so you can only work on the music and not have to work on any of the marketing? Let's look at the facts. Record labels aren't doing artist development anymore because they can just go out and find artists who have built their own audience and fan base that they can just start leeching off of and generate revenue from those already established fan bases a whole lot easier than taking a gamble on some no-name singer who just has an awesome voice. The music industry is broken and has been for a long time. When I first started speaking out about this years ago, I had close industry friends distance themselves from me just to protect their own ass. The fact of the matter is the music industry is slowly being overturned by the independent movement and we now live in a pocket of time where the major labels need us more desperately than we need them. But they control the narrative, right? So they use all of their resources to make you and I believe in a false narrative. So the million dollar question, at what age are you too old to pursue a music career? I say pursue because those that are already making a full-time income, you guys watching this, you typically understand how to have a sustainable career long-term, but what if you're not there yet? Now, we first have to start with the question of what it is you want from a music career. I've been coaching independent artists for years now after stepping away from my own full-time music career as a producer. And one thing that usually trips musicians up is when I ask them what their goals are. I want you guys to repeat after me. I can accomplish massive dreams while maintaining a realistic vision of the future if I'm in control and not my ego. Let me say that again. If I'm in control and not my ego. This is where lifestyle design really comes into play in terms of what we are individually looking for to get out of a career in music. There are so many ways to make money with music these days that you can generate an impressive income at practically any age if you align your realistic vision with the opportunities that you would most be in tune with. For example, if you're writing music for other people to perform, then age really doesn't matter, but writing for others is a massive shot to the ego for some. Getting into sync licensing and having your music placed on TV shows and commercials and video games and movies is another great way to work a sustainable music career for those that go all in. But again, not being the face of the music and working in the background is a huge hit to the ego for some. Being a producer, a mix engineer, a mastering engineer is a career where age really doesn't matter all that much, but it does require you to stay current with the industry trends, which some get set in their ways and don't evolve with. If you play an instrument at a high level and you're currently in a band, for example, you can always look into doing session work for others, which is some uh, a way that a lot of people build an entire thriving music career around. Now, I'm not here to tell you that if you're an artist to go stop doing that and go hide in the shadows within another career path. What I'm saying is that you need to get out of your own way and lean into what can serve you and stop dwelling on how unfair the world is when realistically your unrealistic dreams are robbing you of that joy and happiness. Now, no one is forcing you to pursue a creative career. I hear it all the time. Adam, you don't get it. Making music is the thing that makes me feel alive. Yet, you spend all of your free time complaining about how you don't have the time or the energy or shouldn't have to create content or worry about marketing in order to gain attention for your music. Doesn't make sense, does it? Guess what? If you sign to a label, you'll be contractually obligated to make all that content on their schedule, not when you want or feel inspired to. Plenty of people make six figures a year performing on cruise ships, corporate events, weddings, etc. You'll never see them on the red carpet. We need to stop hyper-focusing on the outliers and start looking at the obtainable opportunities that aren't manipulated by the record labels and the big media companies. So here's what I want you to do. Take 15 to 20 minutes and write down all of the reasons why you make music and why you're pursuing a music career. 
then go through that entire list and rank each one uh, of those reasons between one and 10. 10 being super important, most important, and one being least important. Now under that list, I want you to write your age numerically as big as you can. This is where it gets interesting. I want you to all go through each of those reasons why you make music again, and next to that number that you just wrote down, I want you to write a second number. The second number is how impactful your age is in relation to that reason. 10 being super impactful, one having no impact at all. See, by doing this, we could start chipping away at all those self-doubt and mental obstacles that have been holding you back. It also allows us to get real with what we really want most and why it is that we're pursuing this music career in the first place. The world is going to tell you all the reasons why you're gonna fail, all the reasons why you should be more realistic, right? In fact, I did that earlier in this video because that's what you're here looking for, right? Let's be real. You watch videos like this because you feel like you're too old to have a chance. You might be tired or discouraged and looking for some validation for your feelings, and I get it, but I'm here to tell you that there is a way, but that path to success might not be that one goalpost that you've been focused on, that you've been staring at. We have to be a little bit crazy, but mix that with obsessive focus and intention. At the end of the day, your emotions, your insecurities are what's holding you back more than your age. I don't care if you're 23 or 63. If you don't believe in yourself, how's anybody else going to? The time to be emotional is within the music that you create. By all means, guys, pour into the art. But when it comes to the business and the marketing side of things, we need to pull the emotion out of that and focus on the task at hand as a business owner, not an emotion-driven artist. 